finally, I would like to briefly also talk about something I fear might happen with increased use of AI applications and more advanced AI systems. Our previous guest, uh, Arthur Berman, talked about an, a potential imminent decline of oil and natural gas production in the world. And uh, something that relates to that is what can happen if we optimize our with AI, with, with increased AI uh, use, it may lead to um, yeah, Gevon's paradox, uh, potentially. I mean, optimization uh, to, that also increase, increases the accessibility for different resources, but also optimization of extract, extraction per se. So how do you see that AI could increase the risk of simply using too much resources even faster? So oh, there have been uh, some concern in some uh, quarters of the AI discussion in recent years about the energy consumption uh, involved in training of these uh, biggest uh, AI models. Uh, but if you look at the, uh, so they talk about this, the, the contribution to, to global uh, carbon dioxide emissions. But where we are now, these um, uh, emissions, when you look at it from a global perspective, are, are not large at all. It's the training of GPT-4 uh, is uh, re required an amount of electricity, which I cannot say exactly how much it was, but it was on the order of magnitude of a small Swedish village uh, electricity consumption uh, over one year. So, 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 so given what an influential product GPT-4 is, I don't think that that's much. But, but this is increasing. It's increasing exponentially. We have maybe a doubling of energy consumption uh, per year or something like that. If you look at these types of, of um, uh, AI products, and anything that that uh, grows exponentially will become very big over time and uh, a doubling uh, per year that's like a thousand fold increase per decade and so on so so if if, if this continues uh it, it could uh quickly uh become a problem still i don't think that this is quite the most relevant way to look at things i'd i'd, I'd rather, i think that the really big risk is when we uh, create uh, uh, superhumanly uh, powerful AI that, uh, I mean, if it's unaligned and if it takes over the world and if it uses the world for its its own non-human purposes, that's probably going to entirely destroy the whole biosphere. And I think that that's the ultimate environmental problem. And it's the one that we mainly should focus on. And this is not just a theoretical issue, because if you have the former perspective, if you worry about the amount of electricity consumption in, in, in the training of GPT-5 and GPT-6 and so on, then you're easily led to the idea that, okay, but if we can only make AI more energy efficient to make the chips that, that the AI runs on more efficient, we're helping the environment. I think it works the other way around. I think that these leading uh, tech companies are going to buy all the electricity uh, and, and, uh, and uh, chips and so on that they can afford. And if we make these products more efficient, they're just going to, to, to buy more of it and we're going to get AI even faster. So I have a lot of colleagues uh, in AI research who talk about their work on making AI more efficient and how environmentally friendly that is. And I just don't like the framing of that. I worry that this is just going to accelerate AI development and possibly lead to uh, a, a global catastrophe faster than we have previously um, worried about.